Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex, and today we are gonna be looking at so many different farm ideas using the new crops in the 2.0 update. We have brilliant creators featured in today's video, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. I absolutely love this. We've got some like irrigation going on with the water between the different crop fields, and I like how they're segmented. You know, we have the sugar cane on one little block, we have potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, and I like that there's also furniture featured here, like the little barrels in the, in the corner, the stall with the fruit and the veg the fish. It feels very realistic, very kind of fishing town with little crops on the very edge. And I don't know, I think it's very aesthetic. I also love how with this new camera angle, we can see that grocery bag that wasn't otherwise visible. Honestly, game changer. But I just love this view. I like how it's sunken at the very back. This isn't a common format you see on islands, so I appreciate it. Another unique idea is to incorporate your farms with the beaches. We've seen this with a lot of strawberry farms before we had real crops. People would put their strawberry farms on the beach because they would just run through the flowers. And so since they wouldn't grow on the beach, that was convenient. But look how good the wheat looks here on the beach. I also love this windmill. It feels like it definitely fits right here on the edge of the island. And these new cardboard boxes are so precious. I also love from this creator specifically, they have integrated the farm onto the land just to the right as well. Look at this enormous wheat field. If you were wondering, the wheat field is an item. It is not from the wheat crop. So if you want a field like that, it is an item I think sold in Happy Home Paradise. It might also be in your nook's cranny though, cannot confirm. All of these crops I think are so gorgeous. Uh, look at the way these tomatoes are arranged. They're like along the path. They like adapt to the environment incredible and we even have a cow and a horse stable back here just lovely up next i really appreciate the people who continued using pumpkins because they are still a crop so i love to see them but this island does both we have a little pumpkin patch as well as the new crops and again love the irrigation with the water going through the cropways and kind of separating them again i think this is just gorgeous love the path in the middle makes it feel like a very cleanly set up farm i'm also loving the detail in this one from the terraform I have not seen a lot of like massively terraformed farms, so I thought this was gorgeous and everything from the barrels to the silo, just beautiful. Another thing you can do is incorporate your farm right alongside your orchard. I know a lot of us already have those and actually I recently published 15 orchard ideas if you would like to get creative with that too. But look at these crops. Again, I just love how everyone is separating them with these little signs that are so precious. Custom design creators did not hesitate to give us the cutest signs for the new crops. And again, we also have these very organized pumpkins, which I love. I think that this creator is still collecting crops, so you can go ahead and set up your farm, even if you don't have every single new crop. As you can see here, this creator is adapting and overcoming. We love to see it. Something else we love to see is when creators adapt farms to their own unique themes. So this island is very fairy core. It's so colorful and pretty. It has lots of pinks and purples, which you wouldn't at first think perhaps would be the best kind of island to put a farm on. But I think this creator did an absolutely brilliant job. Look at these little carrots and sugar cane. And this is a two-tiered farm. So you go up the incline and there are more little sections where we are growing crops because you know, fairies need to eat too. And so I think that if you have fairy core, you should definitely try out a farm. Even include some gyroids like this one did. Look at how precious. They do have to be watered. So, you know, I would consider them a crop. I just think this was so cool how it's still so vibrant and colorful and it looks like the crops really fit here. This creator just blew my mind. On that note, by the way, if you have a theme that doesn't really doesn't really allow for farms per se, look at how this creator has integrated the crops into their shopping district build. It's like a city kind of vibe, but look at how well the crops fit in. They're using wheat and sugarcane, which I thought was really smart. It's not like a vivid color. They really fit in here in this natural, like kind of overgrown city aesthetic. 
but I think it's absolutely beautiful and they did such a good job. I just feel like having them surround Nook's Cranny in a very casual way feels so authentic to this island and I was really impressed by how they made a farm without even really making a farm. On the complete opposite side of that spectrum, here we have such a structured farm setup. Everything from fruit trees to crops to even, you'll see, some farm animals. Let's just take a second while we look at this gorgeous farm to appreciate that all of the creators in this video have created these farms in like the past, what, five days? Four days, five days. That's just shocking to me. They have put all of this together so quickly and I'm sure some of them prepared ahead of time knowing how excited they were for the crops, but I still am just so in disbelief that people were able to put all of this together so quickly. So make sure you show some love to these talented creators. They are all tagged in the description. You can check them out. A lot of them have said that I can share the dream address with you. So if you want to visit these islands as well, in the description, you'll be able to find the creators and the dream addresses. I just love the detail in this one. Look at this little well. I feel like the details really make some of these farms and I just love them. Another farm that I thought was absolutely adorable was this one. It's a very, it's more of a simple farm. It's a simple setup, but it, the detail yet again, the combination I think of the crops, the custom designs, these little wooden planks and the clovers are so precious. We've also got the wheelbarrow, the mush lamp. I think it's all just gorgeous. And I also love, I love the little one wheat crops that have grown. How adorable is that? I also really appreciated that in the back we have a John Deere tractor. You can't tell me otherwise. I actually don't know if that's a tractor. I don't know what tractors look like anymore. I just don't have an excuse for that. But here is the farm. It's situated next to Molly's house. So make one of your villagers a farmer. Do it. Speaking of that, you can make yourself a farmer by giving yourself this amazing farmhouse with a wheat field in front of it. Yet again, I am loving the details. This new bathtub that we have, the corrugated iron fence is so beautiful here. And we again have this very structured farm set up. There's wheat field on one side and then crops that are very carefully arranged on the other side. And like I said, look at this farmhouse. The use of the storm, I almost said storm fronts. The storefronts here, it's just lovely. I think this island used a lot of the new items in a really creative way. We have these soil bags finally, also the curved street light. You love to see it. This was another farm setup that I thought was unique and beautiful, very creative. Here we've got like a greenhouse slash plant shop. That's a very popular build, I think, before the update. So many of us had those because the plants in the game are so beautiful. But here they have adjusted that to include the new crop. So again, not a straight up farm, but it looks like it fits so well. The scenery is beautiful with the terraforming, the bridge over the waterfall and you know, you can just adapt areas that already exist on your island. It wouldn't surprise me if the greenhouse was already there and this creator just made the most of it by adding some crops in. We've seen this a little bit in some of the previous islands, but I really like when people have these like tiered farms, how they're up on cliffs. I just, mm, this really hits different. I also love the custom design path that's used here to break up the little farm plots. I mean, Look at how cute this is. Also, again, appreciation for this angled camera that allows us to get these spectacular views of these builds. I just love it. I also really appreciate about this build that it is placed near the campsite. Like, that just fits somehow to me, having a little farm by the campsite. I don't know why, but definitely feels correct. I also wanted to emphasize that you can really put a farm anywhere. So here is this one. It's fairly small for a farm and it's just placed alongside this cliff between the cliff and the pathway that's been running through the island. I think this is a gorgeous example. And again, we have little gyroids included with the, with the farm. So here on the second tier, you can go and look at the little gyroid crops that have grown. How precious is that? They deserve this. You know, they deserve this, this limelight that they've been given. 12 out of 10.
Like I said, I really admire the farms that have a lot of terraforming going on and look at this one. We have this enormous land bridge leading into this farmhouse, which I'm just thinking about how much this would cost in real life, a million dollars at least. But look at these crops, they're situated on either side of the land bridge and I think that is gorgeous. That's such a creative way to go about incorporating the crops on your island, having them be a sort of scenic view. I would never have thought about this, but it is just stunning. You can follow me along here. There was also a gyroid buried there. But look at the sugar cane and potatoes on this side. I think they're set up so well and it's just a very effective farm. It's still accessible and I think that's so cool. You can also build your own little barn house. Look at this one. This is again, a very small farm, but I absolutely love the way the creator included the bridges that lead to it. It makes the, it makes the farm feel like its own little island here. It's surrounded by water. It's got its own barn house. It's like its own mini little zone. Also loving, once again, we don't even see all of the crops here. So this is a reminder that you can make your farm no matter how many of the crops you have, and it's gonna look super cute, super effective, and it's gonna enhance your island. I can feel it. I definitely wanted to showcase this farm. It is, it's like displaying all of the traits that we've noted so far. It's got little sections for the different crops. It's got a lot of detail, custom design. It even features pumpkins. It has terraforming involved. I mean, look at this. It feels like such a professional farm. It feels like something, you know what it reminds me of? Stardew Valley. It feels like something I would build in Stardew Valley, having these like layered crops. It's so cute so beautiful and check out this aerial view of the farm like oh my gosh 1000 out of 10 incredible that is the last island for today i hope that you are feeling so inspired i know i am i literally did not want to build a farm but after seeing all of these i'm like you know what maybe i do need one of those on my island like immediately these were just gorgeous. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching today and remember to check the description for dream addresses and to see the creators. That's all from me. Goodbye.